Hi everyone, and this is Alan Franz, and it's Tuesday. That means it's time for Tuesday's Tips and Tricks for PowerPoint. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy uh, these tips and tricks. Today our tip is going to be about transitions. We're going to add a little bit of a unique twist on the transitions that already exist in PowerPoint. But in order for us to have any transitions, we have to have some slides in order to do a transition. So I'm going to go to the Insert tab, go to the Photo Album, and click on New Photo Album. And what this allows us to do is select from uh, a bunch of pictures on our computer to automatically create a slideshow um, using those pictures. So there it is. Uh, we have a slideshow with all the pictures that I had uh, prepped for this example. And but it doesn't have none. It does not have any transitions to it. So what we're going to do is add transitions. But before we do that, I'm, I want to go to the slide sorter view. And so if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see uh, different controls down at the bottom. The one with the four little boxes is the slide sorter view. And if you click on it, it brings you to this. Now, what I want to do is add a slide in between each one of the images. So I'm going to right click and click on new slide. I don't want it to be black however so I'm going to right click on that slide and click format background and change it to red. So I want a red slide between each one of these. In order I'm going to copy this and there are several ways to, dupli uh, to do that. I'm going to just duplicate it and then move it with my mouse. Control D to duplicate again until I have all the slides how I want them and there we have it six images and six red slides now I'm going to select the image slides control and click all the image and then I'm I'm on the transitions tab already I'm going to use a curtains effect um, for this uh, tip and so what it does is it shows red curtains and it, it draws those curtains back to reveal the background. Um, and so this is the effect that we're really going for. However, the unfortunate thing about the curtains is they only open, they don't close. Um, and if they did close, you would have an effects options here uh, for them to close but they don't have that. So what we're gonna do is use um, a different transition on the red slide. So I'm selecting all the red slides using the control and click, and then I am going to use a drape transition um, for going into the red slides. So this is what the effect will look like. Um, the red slide drapes down, and the next slide opens up as uh, red curtains. So this is really the effect we're going for. This is actually the tip that I wanted to share with you today. Um, but we're not going to stop here uh, quite yet. Um, the problem is with this added slide, we have to click twice in order to get from image to the next image. We don't want that. We don't want our users to have to click twice. So what we're going to do is select all the red slides again using the control and then go up with the mouse click. And then I'm going to go up to the advanced slide and put a one half second timing on that. So now when I run the, the presentation, I only have to click once. It goes through this whole transition and reveals my image. And all I have to do is click one more time. It does the transition and reveals my image. And there you have it. That's the tip of the week. Again, um, we have a little bit of time left, so um, since we have photos here, this kind of reminds me of, of showing a photo album, say at like a, a graduation or a wedding reception. So if you have a bunch of pictures of, of the bride and groom and you want to show them on a continuous loop, what we would do then is make sure that all our slides have uh, timing on them 
and so I'm selecting all the other slides that don't have timing on them right now, and I'm going to set a five second timer um, using the same uh, advanced slide option. And then what we're going to do is go to the slideshow tab and find slideshow, uh, set up slideshow. And then under show options, we want the very top option, loop continuously until escape. Now, you can run the entire slideshow, um, and this is the second to last slide, and this is the last image of the slideshow. It will, now after five seconds, loop or transition to that black slide and start the whole slideshow over. So this is kind of like a little added bonus um, to our tip today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tip. Maybe this is something you can use in the future for your own presentation. Thanks again. If you like this tip, please hit the like button down below and share it with some friends. Thanks so much. Have a great day.